John here guys and today we are not talking about drones this is normally a drone YouTube channel but let's put the drones away and talk about the Popeyes spicy chicken sandwich that everyone has been going crazy over for and uh, I haven't tried this was passing by saw the line but I figured I'd just go ahead and get in it now there has been a lot of hysteria surrounding this and I was not able to get my hands on one during the first wave and bonus, when I got home, looked in the bag, I actually saw there was an extra one in here. So, sweet. I guess I got lunch for tomorrow, too. Um, so, let's start this. Um, Popeyes has absolutely been gaining an incredible amount of sales. Now, if you do go and get the spicy chicken sandwich, I recommend you get their fries. They have a really good sort of a spicy fry. And use this blackened ranch sauce you have to ask for it they don't give it to you um and if you say give me the spicy ranch they'll correct you oh you mean the blackened ranch yes i mean the blackened ranch just give it to me so you can dip your fry in that now a little bit of background on my chicken sandwich experience um i have eaten actually work in a building with a chick-fil-a in it so i've eaten my fair share of chick-fil-a sandwiches i do like them i don't eat them too often they don't actually serve the spicy version in my building, but that is my preferred version. Um, I have eaten a decent amount of the windy spicy chicken sandwich. Very good also. I think I might prefer that to the Chick-fil-A version on some days. And then uh, if you go with the 99 cents uh, McDonald's, what a chicken. I used to work across from McDonald's for a few years. I probably eat, no exaggeration, a thousand of those during my lifetime. So I'm quite familiar with chicken sandwiches of the regular and spicy varieties. Um, because of all that close proximity to fast food in my younger years, you know, especially like I was a huge Whopper fiend. And when the Whopper increased the price from 99 cents back in the day, I lamented that like no other experience that I've ever grieved over and that's what shifted me over to so many of those mcdonald's mcchickens so the bar is somewhat high here and i've heard that this thing is large but the bag is very large like i was not expecting it to be quite this big so that's a good sign already now of course quality and size don't necessarily go hand in hand right you know it's not an indication of how good it's going to be um, and now so I don't really eat a lot of fast food anymore I would prefer to get a burger or a chicken sandwich at a proper restaurant even if it's a chain so um, if you live in the Texas or Louisiana states there's a, a chain of restaurants called Boudreaux's they have a pretty good chicken sandwich there that I get that's you know larger size kind of like this so let's get into it If you pull out chicken sandwich, it has a half wrapper around it so that you don't have to get your hands greasy. They know that you're going to be waiting in line for this. And the last thing that you want is to have it, have, you know, pull it out and have chicken and stuff all over your hands. Um, and depending on how far your drive was to get home, it may have gotten a little bit greasy on the bun. This is a perfect solution right here. I really appreciate that. Of course, the... Uh, Packaging is signed on the side with the Popeye's uh, logo there and it has love that chicken and it reminds you of its hand battered and breaded um, exterior, which is quite good. It also tells you that it's world famous and it is cooked slow with three O's and served fast. And even though the line was very large, um, that was pretty much true. If you can look at the side of this thing, look how tall that chicken breast is in there. Um, pretty impressive. So you're going to have to have a quite a meaty first bite. And of course, you know, a chicken breast is always heavier on one side. And I really like that they took the attention to detail to make sure that that large, um, first bite is sticking up and out. So that's the first sight that you see when you open it up and it's the first thing you're going to bite into. So let's take a bite. Mm. Mm. it's really good um i really like spicy food so 
I could almost do with an extra like 30% spicier, but it's very good. The flavor, if you've ever eaten Popeye's spicy chicken, it's just that same type of a flavor, same type of a breading. The breading is a little bit thick. Um, actually, it's not thick, but there's a few places where it's a few places where it's a little crusted, and so when you buy it, you do get a little bit more batter um, per bite than than you might want. But like, I really don't like batter that much, so that's maybe a personal preference. Mm. You can see that breast meat is just so. Juicy, it's cooked to absolute perfection. Like it's not pink, you see a little bit of a juice so it's not too dry and you can actually see like some of that orange spice in there. Like how do they get it into the meat? Do they inject it somehow? I mean, it's ensuring that you have the maximization of every molecule of flavor per you know square inch that you bite into it. Mmm. Now for something that's just large and this juicy, you might think that the bun would just be completely saturated with grease by the time you get it home. I'm not finding that to be the case. I mean, if I kind of peel back this hand protector right here, I can see that even if I was holding it, I don't think my hand would get particularly greasy. And I really appreciate that. So here's a little bit of that extra crust, so not a big deal. Um, it's probably better to have too much breading than too little. Um, mm. I am fine, I'm like, there's no lettuce in here, or tomato, or really anything, right? There's a little bit of sauce on the edges and I'm finally after like my fourth bite seeing a little pickle in there. My uh, pickle is nice and thick but uh, and there's some more in there like I'd prefer they be a little more evenly distributed but that's you know your mileage may vary on that particular you know instance. I like to have a bite of fries with every bite of my chicken. There's a little bit of extra that, that crust right there. Mm. This is good, guys. Now, the price of this chicken for the meal, I think it's $6.99. For just the sandwich itself, it's $3.99. So it's a pretty good value that you're getting. Mm. Okay, so the verdict, I give this five out of five, you know, fried chickens. Um, it's absolutely delicious. This is a really a, a restaurant quality um, chicken sandwich. If I went to a dine-in restaurant and I was served on a nice plate, this along with these fries and a little fancy bowl of this sauce, I'd be totally happy probably paying, you know, almost double the price of this meal. Um, and the fact that you can go get it and that the really impressive part is that um, it managed to have this much chicken mass without totally falling apart, totally getting greasy, um, and but without also getting too dry. They've uh, allowed themselves to somehow focus all of the perfect amount of moisture and juice inside of the chicken without spilling out to the exterior. You see, even if I give it a squeeze, not a single drop of grease. Uh, and that's perfect for everybody that's watching their cholesterol like I am. That's why you could see I stuck with the regular size fry. I didn't get the extra large size fry. You have to be health conscious, guys. So definitely if you haven't tried it, it's worth sitting in line. You know, don't sit in line for an hour and definitely don't get into some kind of brawl. I was wondering like, why are people getting into fights over this chicken sandwich? And when I pulled up into the parking lot, it was kind of a rainy day. That's why I couldn't go fly my drones. I did notice there's two inches to the parking lot, right? So the people were getting in line here and there's an entrance off to the side. So some people were trying to pull into that side and think they could cut in halfway in the line. Now I passed 
by that way and I, have to, I could easily see, oh, I can't get in line right there. I have to go around the corner, wait at the light, get at the back of the line. That's what you do. That's not what you do in a, in a civil society. But yet people still tried to pull into that side. And I could see this lady in her truck pulling in, um, even though there was already three or four people behind me. And I was like, there's no way this lady's getting her chicken before me. So, you know, I just made sure there was no gap. I don't know if she ever eventually moved to the back of the line as she should have or what happened. I'm, I've seen a couple of these unfortunate brawls online and I'm guessing that's probably the cause. Um, I would be quite upset if I didn't have this chicken right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. What do you think in the comments, guys? Have you tried the chicken sandwich? Is it the best chicken sandwich you've ever tried? Um, as of this moment, this versus Chick-fil-A, I mean, they're pretty much the same price. I definitely have to go with the Popeye's version. Sorry, Chick-fil-A. I still definitely like your nuggets. Thanks, guys.